Hey YouTube, it's Dalajun here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Black and White 2. Last episode we fought in, and today we're going to be going to see this guy, Drayden. If you wish I can teach you the strongest Dragon type Pokemon move ever. And of course, he can teach you Draco Meat if you've got Dragon type, which is great if you have the legendary Zekrom or Reshiram. Crazy amount of damage. But we're going to go into the Two Blind Bridge, because we haven't actually been on this bridge, I don't think. As of yet, or ever. So, uh, let's actually pop onto the bridge. We're gonna put on our bicycle because why not? Let's uh, go, go onto the bridge because it's one of those things you really go on it, and when we do, we just. I don't think I've actually even been on this. If you don't know, this is the steel bridge, the tube line bridge, and I want to talk to everyone because we haven't actually been on it. Hello there, how are you doing? Ah, Glau, it's too noisy. All the trains, they never stop. When the train runs below, it's unbearable noise. To be honest, if it, the noise is about 80 decibels. It's quite noisy. Ah, so. So loud, if only we had a Pokemon with the soundproof ability, we could make the noises go away. Oh. And then I think I think if I'm right, it's gonna as you can see it is changing to different decibels. It was 70 then. And 120. I'm pretty sure. Uh if if you talk to him with like a, a Pokemon with soundproof such as Wizma, something interesting will happen. So so to that as you will. If you wanna if you wanna go and talk to him, go on right ahead. Are you gonna fight me? Hello, hello? Hello, hello, hello. I was running around trying to outrun the trains, and I got, I got over, I, um, what did you say? I got overheated. So here you go, take this, and we get TM43, which is Flame Charge. So, uh, boom. Flame Charge, a pretty good Pokemon move and all that. Anybody else see it? Oh, there is. Hello. Hello. The Two Blind Bridge was number one in the bridge rankings of Unova. That means it's the sturdiest. Uh, okay, I didn't know there was a ranking, but okay. We... We were riding our motorcycles to the heart of content. We believe we could ride forever and ever. Yes, it's an infinite, limitless, breakneck road. With the breakneck team, Black Emp Empoleon. Back back when I had one-on-one -on -one with a trainer, that was our golden age. That, that was the age of gold. It's obviously referencing the first game, because uh, we did actually fight the Black em Empoleon, as they pronounce it. But we're on Route 8 now. I just want to talk to everyone in here, because why not? Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? A giant steel bridge towering over the road ahead. It's just like a, the model of the tube line bridge. It fills me with energy. Speaking of this, I'll give you this. I want to get an energy powered for free. Okay then, uh, fine by me, fine by me. Fine by me. Hello there. For someone like me who is checking out the rail lines all over the world, Anvil Town is where you look at various trains and get pretty high marks. Pretty sweet. Okay, hello there. Watch it, people use railway fans as a, a catch-all term, but there are many types of railway fans. There are riding fans, deed training fans, station fans, train car fans, schedule table fans, picture taking fans, recording fans, and more. Don't go thinking that they're all the same. Okay, that guy was pretty strange though, wasn't he? Let's be honest, the was. Anyways, let's, let's explore Route 8. I don't know if there's going to be battles here or not. We did heal up, so... You rock, here you go. I'll take a smooth rock. Okay, uh, free item, straight off the bat. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you'd like rocks, come back tomorrow. Roll in at a different time if possible, and I'll be here. I promise. So, of course, we're going to get, like, a different rock every time. Wait, what did you see? Hey, there, Pokemon Trainer. I'm a member of the Whip Waders. Oh, you don't have refreshing rods. Well, maybe I'll go invite Professor Juniper in Uvema, in Uvema Town instead. Okay, uh, a bit weird, eh? So, how do you get this item? I want to get the item. I want to get the item. Oh, no. Oh, there's Pokemon here. Oh, my God. These Pokemon are really high-leveled, like... If you don't know, we actually came here in the um, in the last game. We was this is actually the seventh gym, I'm pretty sure, before Opal City. So we actually went the back route again. And how do we get this? Do we have to surf? We do one way. Oh, we've got to surf, idiot. Ooh. But uh, yeah, we actually came here in the seventh gym. But these wild Pokemon now have got an overhaul. Jesus Christ, they are powerful. Like, wow, they have got so much HP. It's it's ridiculous how much HP these guys have got uh, in levels. Splash, splash, splash. Those were the sound of your footsteps, weren't they? So cute. Oh, I, like, honestly, the amount of, like, oh, it's a rotation battle. Oh, I hate rotation battles. Um, cast form, cast form, and cast form. Okay. And of course, it's going to turn into water form because it is raining outside. Yeah. So, uh, we actually did appear to, uh, we actually appeared in the route to the left of us earlier on. And, uh, like, earlier on in the series. And I was like, we're going to come back here later. And we've come back here. Pretty much, 
Oh, what the? Are you really going to turn all your Pokemon into the water form? I'm pretty sure if you got a Thunder type, it would do a lot more damage. But of course, if it's raining, Thunder hits 100% of the time. Yep, and now nah, you live that. What the? Well, it is 20 levels lower. And of course, Cast Form is going to change to Water Form again. Uh, to be honest, Cat Form, uh, Cast Form is not a good Pokemon. I think it's one of the worst Pokemon you could probably get. It's going to be one of those perfect people who just keep switching. Yep, it is. Oh, wow, I missed. I missed. That, that was a bit rubbish, that wasn't it? It was a bit, it was a bit rubbish. Okay, now you can live that. Oh, no, it got critical. It was, it was needed. It was needed. But this is where Dago can shine, I guess. We're gonna put, we're gonna bring Watchog in. To be honest, Watchog is just gonna get switched straight out because we don't even need him. Let's fight and go into Daco here. We're gonna go into for a Giga Drain. To be honest, Cast Form, like I said, isn't a great Pokemon. There's so many better Pokemon out there for what you can get as a Water type or a a type changing Pokemon. I feel like Ditto is a lot better, and I don't really like Ditto that much, but it is better than Cast Form. Anything is better than Cast Form. And now her is gonna get loads of levels as per usual. But I kind of oh, don't want to learn raw. I just feel like a lot of the legendaries and a lot of these special Pokemon which you can't really get in the wild, such as Cast Form, isn't great. Like, it's not that good of a Pokemon for what it is, you know. And a lot of people like Cast Form, don't get me wrong. I think it's a very unique Pokemon, but it's not for me. It's, it's not for me. Uh, you actually get, you can get encounter it. I'm pretty sure you can trade for it in this game, I think. For trading a Ditto, I might be wrong. Or am I getting the wrong Pokemon? I don't know. And you can also get it in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for completing the Weather, in Weather Institute. So, if you want to get it in the new games, there you go. You don't have to trade it from uh, or Emerald or Ruby or Sapphire now. You can just get it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, there you go. But we won, obviously. That, that wasn't a difficult fight. It was just more draining because I hate cast forms. <laughs> I hate them. What's this? Okay. Trainer tips. Press like to open a bag. Well, I don't really care. We're not going to go and heal. I feel like we can handle these guys pretty easily. You know, we can handle these guys. We're not a weakling. We're we're, the, we're like the champion here. Also, how come these guys are walking around here, for example, right? But, but these guys never challenge the champion. These guys have got some high-level Pokemon. Like, level 60 is a pretty high-level Pokemon for what you are. You, you could have all the gym badges with that. Bloody Drayden's only got level 50, hasn't he? See, these guys got more HP, and they haven't even evolved their Pokemon. What the hell? Final Gambit, what does that do? What does Final Gambit do? Okay, it's gonna kill itself, and what's that gonna do to me? I, I, I don't know. Really? Really? Is that all it did? Okay, Slugma's gonna be annoying. Slugma's got type advantage here, but to be honest, not really that much of a fan of Slugma either. It got, it got introduced in Generation 2, a lot of people think it's Generation 3. It's, it's, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Of course, it got burned, which... I hate burn, you know, it's gonna cut my attack in half, but... Ah, it's fine, you know. Let's, let's see what else she's got. We've got Mag, Mag Cargo. Oh, a Gastrodon. Gastrodon, okay. That is a, a water type. I'm pretty sure that is from Sinnoh as well. Ooh, cool. This is, I love how, many, how, like, every Pokemon have just got, like, so many, like, um... What's the word? Um, so many, like, different typings. It's not just, like, one generation or one typing. It's, like, everyone's got, like, so much more now. And I kind of like that's a bit more strategy. I'm actually going to go and heal up Daco because I'm not going to deal with... <laughs> I'm not going to deal with Daco getting like destroyed all the time. So what am I looking for here? I'm looking for a full heal. I know I've got him somewhere. There we go. I can't believe I missed it. I, I literally went straight past it. I don't like Burn. I think Burn is probably the worst status element you can get. That or Paralysis because they're both just as bad as each other. Okay, there's someone up here. There's a hidden item right there. And Max Repel for free. Don't mind if I do. Okay, hello there. You're going to fight me? Of course you are. So I do like this area. I like the idea of... It rain all the time. I like the idea of the marshiness, and I like it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as well, as well as the, the, the newer games. I just, oh my god, it's a triple battle. Ludicolo as well. We are not prepared for this. Oh god, so this isn't going to end well. We have a type advantage because Daco just resists everything. But we are in a triple battle, so that means all three Pokemon are going to be able to attack each other constantly. I feel like I need, oh bloody hell, there's so much stuff happening here. I need to get rid of the Jolteon as fast as I can, so I'm going to go straight for a Leaf Storm on Jolteon. I'm actually going to go and heal up Nagi here. I need Nagi alive, it's a triple battle, I can't risk it. We're going to use a Max Repel on, uh, not Max Repel, a Max Revive on Nagi. We need him alive, I'm going to go for a dive, because why not? It, it might be able to miss. Okay, we're going to heal up Nagi. We need Nagi alive, like I said. Nagi's going to be the main deal here, dealer here against Ludicolo, because he's probably got... 
water dish. And if you don't like that ability, something like water dish is not a splash dish or something. Where if it rains, Ludicolo gains HP back. And it's it's good. It is a really, really good move. So I want to get rid of Ludicolo as fast as I can. I'm kind of glad he's uh, attacking us. Thunder is going to kill the Zoomerol. There's no if or buts about it. To be honest, I'm surprised that he didn't go for Daco because I like uh, or even Herdia. But we need to get rid of Cast Form first. I feel like Cast Form is going to do the most damage to Nagi. Can we actually hit either of these? No, we can only hit Ludicolo. And Ludicolo can't be seeded. Okay. So this is not ideal now. It's not ideal. We're going to go for a bite on Cast Form. Might as well might get some flinch hacks going on. And we're going to go for a fly on the Cast Form. I don't know how two battles work, okay? I don't understand because how come Daco can't hit Cast Form but Nagi can hit? Oh my god, what the hell? I honestly thought... I honestly thought I would have a lot more trouble with the with the Ludicolo because it is tanky and it is a really good Pokemon. Like it's one of the best Pokemon in in the third generation. It's so tanky, and I just one shot it. So surprised there, like a bit of damage there. To be honest, I don't really care who we hit here. We can't hit him for some reason. Daco can't hit him because he's on the left, even though Nagi can when he's on the right. He can hit all three. I don't understand how triple battles work right. I really don't. But there we go, cast form. I hate triple battles. I hate triple battles, they're a waste of time. But Herdia, you go to level 33. He's gotta be getting closer to like <laughs> evolution now, Herdia. He? He's gotta be getting there. I think it's level 40 when he evolves. And that is crazy that like how a lot of my Pokemon have only evolved just because I've been randomly using them. Oh, is he is evolving now? They just evolve because I'm just randomly using them and they just like get to a certain point where it's like, oh, I'll evolve now. GG, you know. I love that because I haven't even trained any Pokemon up other than Daco and Nagi. Well, Aim to actually like, of course, I've I've trained them up randomly, but well, hey, we actually get a uh, Scotland, Scotland. It's an okay Pokemon. It's, it's not it's not amazing, but it's good early on, especially with Stab, you know. So it's, it's not a bad Pokemon. Let's actually go into this cave. Ooh, okay, what's in this? Ooh, ooh, in the Maw of Icarus. Ooh, we got a tiny mushroom as well. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Hello there. There's no legend about this place. Long ago, when a war between people started and intensified in this forest, a single young Pokemon was separated from its par partners. Cobalteon, Terracon, and Verizon teamed up to take care of the to take care of the thing, uh, the the fire, and grew up to be. So obviously, that is going to be a certain legendary Pokemon which we haven't encountered and we won't. It is the event Pokemon. What's it called? Now? It, it's it's the. Is it it's not called Bolton. It, it, it's 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 a it's like the fourth one, you know. It's the little one. It's, it's like the it's the Rainbow Dash of the game. I can't remember what it's called, but it is a pretty pretty cool Pokemon. What's it called now? Kilikion or something? I think that's how you pronounce it. Kilikion. I think it is. It's something like that. And it's the legendary, the, the fourth legendary. And I'm pretty sure that's what it was talking about, referencing that. I don't really know much about the legendary. By by the way, I do like Poliwhirl's sprite in this game. I don't know why it looks a lot more round. You know, it looks like it looks like how a Poliwhirl should look. And of course, live wake up slap will do a decent chunk of damage because it does. It it. Oh wow! I thought it was gonna do a lot more damage than that. I was like, it's gonna do a lot more damage than that. It's probably because of the the amount of level difference we've got between my Pokemon and the wild Pokemon. I should have actually switched out there because Wish Cash a a pretty tanky. A ground water type. Get in there, Daco, and show us what you're made of. Come on. He's probably going for an Earthquake, because every Wish Cash knows Earthquake. He's going to go for an Earthquake. Oh, Future Sight. You can learn Future Sight. I did not know Wish Cash could learn Future Sight. So that's, that's something new, isn't it? Let's go for a Leaf Blade and see what actually happens. Okay, okay. Not bad damage. One shot. We got a critical. It wasn't even needed. Type advantage. We was going to do it anyway. And a Politoed. We're going to stay in. Because why not, you know, Pol Politoed is a second generation Pokemon, involved in Poliwhirl by evolving it with a King's Rock. It's an okay Pokemon, to, to be honest, it looks pretty cool, and for the longest time I did not know it was the evolved form of Poliwhirl. So, uh, yeah, there, there you go, turn that to the day that as you will. So uh, there we go, that's that, that guy complete, anything over here, what's this? And this is a green shard, for free, don't mind if I do, thank you very much. Any, any item for free, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with taking. So I do know this is actually an area we need to on the right. I'm actually not going to go down there yet. So I'm going to go up here. So I'm pretty sure to, to explore everything in this area, you need to have strength. So make sure you have got strength if you are coming to the Maw of Icarus. Like, like I have because it's going to make it a lot easier to, to terrain the area and all that. 
Okay, there is something around here. Let's see a hidden item. Is it going to be right here? I think it is. Right here. There we go. And it's a Dawnstone to evolve certain Pokemon, such as a Murkrow into a Harnge Crow, Mis Mister Mistress to a Miss Magius. Stuff like that. It was a stone. What was that in the fourth generation? There you go. So what we got over here? Okay, this is... Okay, we're still on this side. Okay, it was a Ranger. Okay, fine by me. Fine by me, Ranger. Bring it on. Knowing oneself, knowing the other, and knowing the surroundings. That's a Ranger. Okay, then. I guess it is a Ranger, then. But, I mean, it's got some kind of Pokeball. It's going to go for the last one, me. What's... Oh, well, cool. It's got the evolved form of... um. Shel what is it called? Is it sh shelter? Is that, you know, pronounce it Shelter? It is a good Pokemon. It's a Steel type, I'm pretty sure now. A Steel Bug type. And my Pokemon are weak to Steel types. You hear? Oh my god, it's got Swords Dance as well. That means it is going to be trying to go for a sweep here. We do have Fly though, so Fly should do at least neutral damage if it is a Steel type. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. It is still a Bug type, so it's not all bad, you know. I'm, I'm happy with the amount of damage we got done there. Let's go for an Air Slash here. This should end him. To, to be honest, he probably could have done a decent chunk of damage to us with the two sword dances he had on. But, you know, he, he didn't even stand a chance. Skunk Tank. Ooh, it's a uh, another Sinnoh Pokemon. It reminds me a lot like, uh, it reminds me of the um, Team Galactic. Because there was the commander with the red hair. I can't remember her name. And she had a Skunk Tank. What, what, what was the name now? It's not Jupiter. It's not Saturn. It's Mars. Mars had one. Mars, there we go. And, of course, after Mars going to hurt us. Oh, I got damn you, Skunk Tank. But he didn't do too much damage to us. And what else do you have? You have a car Carnivine. This guy had a lot of Johto Pokemon. Uh, Senno Pokemon, even. Wow, let's go for an Air Slash. We should probably one-shot. Like, 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 we own. We own. We're a bit too good for my own liking right now. There we go. Carv Carnivine. Dead. GG, brah. GG. And uh, there we go. Boom, boom. It's difficult. It's not difficult, man. It's not difficult. It's on. Did you know this? Lumberry. Thank you very much. And I'm guessing this is going to be a full heal. I don't know why I've just got a hunch. Give me a full heal. Boom. How would I know that? I'm psychic. I, that was honestly just a guess. Because we haven't encountered one in a while. Anything over here? Anything? There is a trainer which we're going to fight. Because why not? And there's also it's all the area on the left which we're going to take on as well. But uh, I'm going to keep doing this route until we actually get into the in, into Icarus City. Because I feel like that's going to be a, a good ending point. Oh my god, a crawfish. Oh, I love crawfish. So just look how cool it looks. Crawfish, crawfish. To, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've never caught a crawfish. I've never caught one. Because every single game I've had, I'm pretty sure it wasn't available in the wild. Or I just wasn't interested. Either or. Skunkfish. A, uh, another pretty easy Pokemon. These Pokemon are really, really weak. You know, they're in the pre-evolutions. I kind of wish we had a bit of a challenge. I know Skunkfish. Oh my god. I say, I say that and then he just tanked my attack. Wow, I thought I, was, I thought I was gonna do more damage, but uh, I feel like I, I want to encounter more powerful Pokemon, like you know, Pokemon with like more high defense or be able to like at least do a decent chunk of damage to me as well. Because look at that, it, it did nothing to me. I, I feel a bit. Uh, I want to do more damage. I want to be able to uh, actually have a challenge like we did against N. Because N, N only had one Pokemon and he almost killed me. Bloody hell, he, he was good. He was good. But uh, we're gonna heal up and uh, there, there goes. Um, Daco is getting ever closer to that next level. We're just going to stay in. Poliwag. You've really got Poliwag. Look, this is what I'm saying. All the, the Pokemon are like pre evolved. You know, they're not too difficult. Like, I do like Poliwag, don't get me wrong, but I kind of wish it was like a higher level or at least did some kind of decent chunk of damage to me. Like, I, I, I just want a decent challenge now. We're in the post game. You know, this is where the game should be getting harder, but it's not too hard. I've seen such a strong trainer. I've never seen such a strong trainer. Me neither. But you did have, like, pre-evolution babies, didn't you? So you, <laughs> you was going to lose anyway, mate. I'm sorry to say, but you was. Okay, let's actually go over here. And uh, are you going to find me, Pokemon Ranger? Of course she is. Hello there. Pokemon trainers nurture friendship with their battles. Do they? Nice to know. Nice to know. So bring it on, then. Okay, Elaine. F find me, Elaine. And, of course, she's got the Exelor, which is the alternative to the Knight. The, the other Pokemon the Ranger had. You know, I, I I think I mentioned this though earlier on the Let's Play. The only way you can get this Pokemon is by trading with the other Pokemon and making sure that they don't hold Everstones and it will evolve both the Pokemon. But it's got to be those Pokemon you trade with. And I do like that because it makes it so you have to like be all smart about your evolutions and stuff. But there we go. Nagi's level 81 now. Only 19 levels to go until he's max level. And a Kecleon. Oh, Kecleons are pretty unique. Okay, they remind me a lot like Arceus. And pretty much, when you hit him, okay, when you hit 
a Kecleon, it's going to change its type. And that's its ability, pretty much. You guys will see here. As you can see, it's color change, so now it is a flying type. That means flying type is going to do less damage to it. A pretty good counter for legendaries, but Kecleon was one of the first Pokemon from the third generation actually seen in Pokemon in the, the Johto region. So, uh, there, there you go. That's how they introduced the third generation Pokemon. Oh, Swalot. I thought I thought, I thought, I thought it said Swablu, to be honest, but yeah, there you go. If you didn't know that, you do now. So, Swalot is going to do a hella lot of damage. Tanky as hell. They normally put, um, I say it's, I, I say it's tanky and then I almost one-shot it. People normally put, um, what is, what, what, what is it now? Leftovers on Swalots because they, they, they're so good. I'm pretty sure it can learn Stockpile as well. And I'm pretty sure the more he heals, the more stuff. I, I think it's, a, it's got a weird ability, you know. I don't really know abilities that well. But uh, Lumberries are a great, 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 great ego. I have a, a Lumberry, which I'm probably never going to use, but okay. Thank you very much, Ranger. Thank you very much. Let's actually serve and see what's actually around here. There's got to be something, hasn't there? There has to be. Okay, what's this? Oh, is that actually I am. And it's TM84, Poison Jab. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm happy we got Poison Jab. It's not a, a bad a bad TM, you know, for free. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. It, like, it, it could be better. It could be, like, Draco Meteor or Hyper Beam or something. But still, Poison Jab, it can still do a decent chunk of damage when it wants to. So I'm not complaining about that. So let's actually go back onto Route 8 and actually continue on. You're going to fight me? Real Fishermen are impatient, so we must battle immediately. Okay then, fine by me, fine by me. So I'm pretty sure, this is a, this is going to sound strange, but depending on the season, of course, in this game, we depend on your season, this is going to be covered in water for 90% of the time, except in the winter season. It's when all, when most of the puzzles, uh, pu puddles, puddles, you know, the, the thing would freeze over, and uh, I think that's pretty, pretty cool, pretty awesome, you know, like, I like the little things in Pokemon, and that is... That's like a really, really nice thing to detail. Stunkfish, we're actually switching straight out. I'm not dealing with one of those again. I do like it when Pokemon incorporate something which is pretty unique. And I do like the idea that, oh, you're going to get this now. You're going to... I don't know. I like it. You know, it's really, really nice. Giga Drain, let's see what we're made of. Come on. One shot this guy. Come on. Come on. Daco. This is how we do it. Daco is pretty goddamn powerful. Oh, my God. That shows how high... De what? You can learn Thunderbolt? Jesus Christ. That shows how much defense Skunk Fisk has. Like, that is pretty tanky. Let's see how much HP we got back. It had a lot of HP as well. Jesus. It must have had the same HP as Daco at least. And a Wish Cash. Not too bad. You know, if you do have a Thunder type Pokemon, you probably will struggle with these guys. But if you've got a Grass type, you are fine. Just like that, we rinsed him. We rinsed him. There we go. Wish Cash is down for the counts. And Daco is going to gain some more experience, 2000, and we beat Trainer Rider. Ooh, okay. This route can't go on that much longer. Ooh, there's actually an item up here as well. From what I remember, this route is pretty short. It's just like there's just so, there's so many trainers to fight, and they've, they're not easy. You know, they're not easy. A Nest Ball for free. Again, I am not complaining about free Nest Ball. Okay, there's a youngster here. Let's try to sneak past him until he gets some items. So this is an item right here. So we'll get a rare candy. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, route eight. So I want to fight as kicks. I'm pretty sure we need to go south. I remember. In fact, if my if my knowledge is right, south is Icarus. City. Well, it's to the left, but we need to go south and then all the way around. If I remember right, I think I do. I think I do. I might be wrong though, but yeah, I might I might be wrong. I don't think I am. Palpato, which is obviously a ripoff of a Poliwag <laughs> or a Poliwhirl, but uh, we're gonna keep nagging because. I want Nagi to at least get some experience, whether that be small or not. Let's go into Nagi. Uh, let's go into Daco and see what what is happening. You know, Daco's gonna one hit, one shot this guy. It's a mud, uh, not mud. It's a ground water type. I'm pretty sure it does have soundproof as well. So, like I mentioned earlier with the bridge, I'm pretty sure a Palpatoad would give you a special cutscene. But I'm not gonna go out of my way just to get a Palpatoad. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm really not. But uh, if you guys wanna go and get one. Go right ahead. It is literally a Poliwag and a Krogunk. Ooh, okay, okay. I do like Krogunk. It is literally just a Poliwag, so if you want one, you can go and get one. But for, for me, they're not for me. Okay, let's see how much damage that does. Oh, oh one shot. We got a critical hit. It was it was probably needed. Krogunks are pretty pretty defensive. Uh, well, well, they're more offensive, but they do have a decent defense. And a Vaporeon, the most overpowered Pokemon in Pokemon Go right now. Let's go and try to one shot it and see what we can do. Okay, come on. 
Vaporeons do have a lot of defense and a lot of HP. And we've got a critical hit. It was probably needed. Vaporeon is a tanky Pokemon. Like, it's crazy how tanky it actually is. Okay. Isn't it? What's actually up here? Oh, it's an item. So I'm kind of glad it came up here. And it's TM36 for Sludge Bomb. For free. I am happy with that. I am so, so happy. So I'm pretty sure we need to go south here, like I said. Go south, and then we should be arriving in Icarus City, which we have. Even though it's raining, raining really bad. Oh, it's not. It's drying up. Thank God. I hate rain. I want to. I want to know how we get to the house. Is it this way? Is it up here? Is this the way to the house? Hello. The legendary Pokemon gave help to the hero who fought ideals because of that. A region was created. Then, its physical form was lost. And the Pokemon became the Dark Stone, waiting patiently for a new hero. The story I heard when I was little turned out to be true. It did in the previous game, Pokemon Black and White. I remember that. I played that game on my channel, YouTube Pokemon Fox Attack on the Trainer. <laughs> Shameless plug. Hello there. If you walk in the wetlands, you might surprise you, you might surprise a wild Pokemon into popping out. I don't want to encounter wild Pokemon, but we have arrived in Icarus C and I do think it is time for us to end off the episode here. Actually there's a guy actually here. I'm going for you, you're doing terrific. We got a medal. What is it? The bridge enthusiast. Yay, collect 50 medals. We're not going to do that. We've only got like 24 or something. We're going to start Pokemon, but I do think it's about time we actually end, end off the video here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'll be greatly appreciated. Next time, we're actually going to go and explore Icarus C. And we're going to see what's actually happened. Because if you remember, Bryson is now a Pokestar Studios actor. He used to be a gym leader. I'll see you guys next time when we go and explore. Take care and uh, peace.